welcome back to the channel and today in trail makers we're gonna be doing some more silly power coupler experiments uh last time we experimented with making a plane like this uh by separating the essential parts with power couplers and now i think the next logical step is to go from plane to helicopter where the blades are actually separated by power couplers and there's a chance this thing just did this, this this may not work at all this might not have any chance of working but also there are, there are some advantages but first i got to give a shout out to silent one for um for bringing this idea to my attention i've seen a couple of comments about it over the past couple of weeks since the power couplers came out but as i was thinking about what i was going to record today this one is what uh, determined this video so the blades are obviously going to be super essential to be s stable for a helicopter to fly which may make it sound like it's going to be a lost cause however the helicopter is going to have one distinct advantage over the plane uh, and that is because the helicopter blades are not realistic in the sense that we're not using uh, a swash plate style mechanism to control the blades very precisely for pitch and roll. Helicopters generally in Trailmakers rely on gyro uh, style pitch and roll. This plane, however, did not have any gyro pitch and roll. It was all the actual bl uh, the wings and lifting surfaces that were responsible for all that, which was a severe disadvantage when it came to all these things being floppy. Now, the helicopter having gyros to be able to compensate might be able to save it from terrible blades, but that's just gonna, we're just gonna have to find out. So fortunately, I have uh, one of my favorite helicopters that I've built here because I don't really see a point in starting it brand new with a helicopter when we're we're getting to the same point in the first place. However, this helicopter is old enough that I need to replace it with the new gyros because uh, the gyros that we have now are just so much better. All right, let me see if I can fit a gyro in here. Oh yeah, we can totally fit gyros in here. Where's my center? My center is up there. So I wanna fit the gyros right in there. And then I need another gyro over here and this is gonna be my roll. I think this is the yaw gyro. All right, let's see how these controls feel now. We go up, we can pitch forward, pitch back, really easily, uh, really easily executed. And then yaw feels fine. Roll, I think, could be a little bit faster. There we go. All right, so one big problem I potentially see with this, we may have to eventually transition to a Chinook-style helicopter because with this, the floppiness, we need to have two counter-rotating blades and they're stacked on top of each other. So the floppiness of the power couplers are probably gonna cause a lot of blade collisions, which are just gonna destroy the blades, which is gonna make this completely not doable. So a Chinook style separates the blades and will hopefully allow them not to collide as much. However, as we had power couplers, the blades are just gonna get super long. So I don't know. And actually, I think blade collisions are gonna be the biggest obstacle. Oh, because then the centripetal force will ca should cause them to level out a little. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect with this. But uh, we only got one place to start and well, we there's a lot of places we could start. Oh no, this tail is in the way. Hmm, I'm going to opt for smaller tails, but like this. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is gonna be a whole, this is gonna be a collision nightmare, I'm pretty sure. All right, so we got the first power coupling and yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference at all. Kind of expected that. Actually, it looks kind of cool. I like the visual effect of that. All right, super easy to fly helicopter. I love this helicopter. All right, but now let's uh, do what we did before. Let's do the extreme test. We have to, to do the zero stiffness test. Here we go. So this is this is where I actually don't know. I don't know if this is going to break, make or break the helicopter. <laughs> like I expected that, but when they spin, they should like straighten out just because of the force, right? But that looks awesome. All right, here we go. No collisions. What happens if I try to go up? Ah! <laughs> it was so quick. As soon as I tilted forward, it ruined everything. That actually startled me. All right, like it's fine right now, but as soon as I tilt. Wow. Okay, this is not looking good. This is really not looking good. I, uh, it's just, it's annoying how stable it is in a straight up and down fashion. All right, I'm gonna try to do the gentlest tilt forward. 
I'm just gonna tap it. Oh my god, it's working. It's working. It's working. Oh, it's working! It's working! Yaw shouldn't be a problem. Man, it's, why is it scaring me? Can we recover? <laughs> nope. I, do, do I want to try to fix this? It's the zero stiffness test. We just want to see what happens. That's not like the default position. So let's keep it going with our current setup. Let's not change the design at all. And now let's add another segment. All right, easy enough. Maximum stiffness. Oh, you can see it. You can see the bend now. So now I kind of feel like this might not even survive the, the pitching and rolling. But let's find out. All right. And there we go. Oh, oh, well, it like, oh, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> They're just too close together. My solution before was going to be to just separate them a little bit more vertically. Yeah, this is the problem I was worried about. That is the problem. We're tangling our blades. That's not something you would ever really hear in a sentence, getting your blades tangled. I mean, they would usually just collide and break, not tangle. Ah, oh, come on, untangle, untangle. Yes. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. At least we can recover from this one. It's not just instant annihilation as opposed to delayed annihilation. Uh, <laughs> no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 I did it. I did it. I turned my blades off and on again. <laughs> I just realized that. Have you tried turning it off and on again? When your helicopter blades tangle and you're falling out of the sky, just try... There we go. Try turning it off and on again. That's what I just did. That fixes it. <laughs> Power coupling technology, just like computers. Oh, it didn't work that time. Oh, no, no, no. It, okay, no. All right. Well, uh, let's see if raising this up by a single block will be enough. All right. So this is just a one block difference. I think with the rigidity of these that it has potential. So, okay, no, well, that's already not a promising start. Man, why is it, like, I, you would kind of, oh, I guess they're, they're going in opposite directions, but you would kind of think that the pitch forces would kind of make them want to bend with each other instead of colliding with each other. But yeah, you, you, you know, you can clearly see there's an opposite force happening. Yeah, it's because they're, it's because they're mirrored. Yeah, that makes sense. Dang. All right, ready? Off, on. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not enough. Look at that. Those ones right there. They are just locked in. They are really locked in. Let's go a little bit further then. I'm going to go two more blocks. We're going to double the distance. Okay, here it goes. Oh. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, that looks so... Hold on, I need to, I need to do like a follow cam. I guess behind the camera is... Yeah, all right, now, yeah, now you can see it. I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. You can kind of see the left and right sides get closer together as I tilt forward and backwards in that view. All right, but we've now separated them enough that this actually kind of works. They don't collide anymore and we can still fly perfectly fine. Yeah, it is kind of like interesting because with the planes, the wings are just kind of straight and non-moving. So as we flow through the air, it pushes and folds the wings back. Because these have a spinning gyroscopic effect, they're kind of stable, at least until you start pitching and rolling. But, you know, the point still stands. So I feel like in a way the helicopter is like an easier thing to handle the power couplers, but also there's things that make it way harder. All right, here, let's go down and land. All right, perfect. All right, so I've got one more, one more segment left to do here, which is probably going to ruin it. Actually, no, wait, wait, hold on. I didn't do the floppy, the floppy test on this one. Let's go zero stiffness. That's ridiculous. It sh I think it's still going to be able to go up and down, though. Ready? Oh, oh we got to not collide with the tail. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. I knew it. I knew it could do it. It didn't look promising. But ready? We're going to go up. The force is way weaker. It is noticeably weaker. But I did have a feeling that going up and down was going to be po uh, possible, even with this stiffness. All right. Now let's... No way. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe it was working as much as it just did. Oh, that was cool. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I just want one more attempt. 
Dang it. All right, yeah, this one you got to be way, way, way more gentle with the pitch. Yeah, look at that. You can see the flexing happening. But this one, it happens. It does it. All right, ready? Let's uh, turn around. No problem. Head back this way. Oh, you can see the flex as soon as I do the pitching. Look at that. It's like one of those, um, the, the, the chair swing rides at the carnivals. The way it, like, tilts side to side. Look at that. We just had a successful flight. Can you believe that? This was zero stiffness. Ready? Turn it off. And... That was kind of freaky. That was really weird. They got more lift the slower they went. Well, no. Well, yes. But I think uh, the centripetal force was... The, that force was weakening as it went slower, which allowed the lift to overcome it. Okay, that was really interesting. This is totally going to destroy the helicopter. All right, so this is maximum stiffness. Definitely floppy. I don't think this one's going to be able to handle um, any pitching. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can already just see... Can I, wait, can I even get off the ground? Oh, I can't. It's actually, it's decently strong. It's going super slow, but because the, uh, the rotors are so much longer, the blades at the end are still going pretty fast, relatively. But let's see what happened. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. It survived. Is the slowness actually kind of giving it a little bit of extra advantage? Oh, oh, there, oh, that was a little bit of a collision there. Oh, yeah. I really have to do it gently. If I just go full force, that's what happens. All right, off, on. Come on, come on, recover. All right, we're recovered from that. Just gotta turn it off and on again, just like any computer. All right, let's uh, turn around and head back. This is working. This is a, this is flyable. It is the sketchiest flight you'll ever have, but it is, look at this, it's flyable. You can go somewhere. You just got to be super hyper focused and aware of how quickly you're changing your orientation and you can survive. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody like see. Yeah, then that happens. But it like the, the power coupling has enough cushion. They're like such a suspension kind of feel that they absorb a lot of impact. All right. Now this one on zero stiffness. I do not think we're going to be able to get started on this one. I really don't think we're going to be able to get started on this one. Come on. Ah, ready right away. No. Nope. All right. I'm going to backspace and then go. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Look at that. It's so tangled. It is such a tangled mess. <laughs> oh, no way. We got one blade spinning. What is even wrong with it? I only, it's like two of the blades are merged together. There's just no way this is ever going to possibly work. You know what would be really cool? If you could have like a, a slider adjustment and you could adjust the stiffness of these on the fly with like button controls. All right, I don't think it's going to work. Even like a Chinook style, I don't think would work with this. All right, my blades are so tangled right now that if I press the power button, it's just locked up. It doesn't even... Oh, okay. I think we've reached the limits of that version. Saving it for thumbnail purposes. Here is the Chinook style. No, this isn't going to work. Yeah, this is, my, this is my issue with the Chinook style is because in order to put the power couplers in, you're going to have to extend the blades unless I replace one of the blades. Here, let's just... What does this thing even feel like right now? Let's go up. Tilt forward. Oh, this has like an auto tilting thing. I think I have a button for it though. All right, yeah. So this one... It's not my best, it's not my best helicopter, but I have an idea on how to at least do a little bit of an experiment with it. But no, we still have the same issue though, because look, they still overlap. Otherwise, you're going to have a super long helicopter. So I don't know. Let's just try a couple of iterations and just see what happens. I'm not really like expecting anything revelatory from this one, but my method, since I can't extend the blades, since they are overlapping each other, is to replace the interior blade with um, a power coupler. All right, so there shouldn't be much of a difference with this. Yeah, oh, oh, whoa, you can really see it. You can really see it when I go forward and backwards. There's gonna be a collision issue. Not yet, but uh, when I turn this down to zero stiffness, definitely. All right, here we go. Zero stiffness. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, looking good. Whoa, I can't take off anymore. What? You can see it trying. I press shift to go up. It's like, it's trying. Oh, and then as soon as I try to pitch, there's the collision. All right. Yeah, I feel like 
the Chinook. The Chinook style was a fail. It's even worse. Chinook style is actually even worse. I really thought the Chinook style was going to be what needed to happen, but it's actually just normal. Normal style is better. I I just remembered I can take this even further. So here, we're going to go back to full stiffness. This one worked at full stiffness, right? Okay, I just got to be really, really, really careful. All right, but it still does kind of work. All right, so there's one more thing I can do. Maybe, maybe two, one, maybe... No, there's... Oh, 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 already? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna replace these with power couplings because this is four blocks now. But I also want to do the tail. And I'm going to set these ones down to like 50% stiffness. And then let me also do these side wings. Just so I, I just, just, just so I have more stuff flopping around. These aren't like super, super high functionality. Um, but it'll do something maybe. All right, and let's just stick with this for now. Oh, oh yeah. That tail is flopping a little bit. And the, uh, the first blade has potential to collide with the tail more now. Oh, there we go. The side wings don't really seem to be making a difference. But this is interesting. Oh, okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, go, 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 go. Just gonna turn it off and on again. All right, when I turn that top blade into being attached to a power coupler, it's game over there. All right, look at the back tail flopping around. All right, we can come in for a landing. This is doable. Yeah, look at that. So doable. All right, and now the thing to break everything. Power couplers between the blades. See, now the thing with this is I can put four power couplers and they can be like super strong, like that. And that's probably gonna be just as solid. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, how did this even? <gasps> Does this create a discrepancy in the rotation? Whoa, this is not a result I was expecting, but I guess they're absorbing the twisting torque. So they are no longer the exact same forces between the top and the bottom. Whoa, that's like a, a genuinely surprising result. So you can probably see if I get, if I take a closer look when I start, Hmm, you don't really see it, but they ha they are absorbing some of the roll or some of the uh, the spin. So that's causing an unequal torque on my body. So I actually can't, I, I mean, I knew it was gonna destroy the thing, but I didn't think it was gonna do it in that method. All right, well, I kind of want to see now uh, if these are at zero stiffness, just what does it do? Huh, they really support their, each other, having the four of them. But now when I go, Okay, it doesn't really something. Wait, it actually may not have saved. Hold on, let me check. No, they are at zero stiffness. It did save. Okay. Let me try just two of them. I'm gonna do opposing corners. So we're gonna delete that corner and that corner. You can see it bouncing. Huh. I'm honestly really surprised that it doesn't bend more. All right, well, I mean, we can still fly. We're just not gonna go anywhere. I mean, even my own torque, I can't undo it. All right, well, since that broke it so bad, let me replace them with uh, the solid the solid section, and I want to do one more thing. And that is, of course, what the power couplers were made for. And that is being invisible. <laughs> this is weird. This looks like some kind of, like, boss battle. I don't know. Seems like a boss from a video game with, like, the separate wings. I don't, uh, I don't know. I forgot to uh, hide the dot, the connecting points, so you just see these red dots everywhere, but I think it actually kind of looks cool. So yeah, this thing's perfectly flyable. I mean, perfect might be a strong word. <laughs> It's definitely not perfect. It's n I, I've I've built worse helicopters before I fixed them. Maybe I don't know. It wasn't so bad, but uh, that was the helicopter power coupling experiment. If you guys have any other crazy experiments you'd like to see with the power couplers and how they affect normal things, let me know down in the comments below. If you missed the uh, the plane power coupler one, that was a completely different experience than this one. So definitely go ahead and check out that video. If you guys enjoyed this one, then you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.